No. No, you're fine. Okay. Thank you, though. This one now. They can, yeah. So before the camera got turned on, there was another car here, local tags, so they know better. They know not to park here. And they came running when they saw us pulling up. They know. They know better. And there's local no tags. signs. Local tags, they know better. No, there's no signs, they're all over the world. I know. There's signs everywhere. It's 360. They know better. No excuses. And the fact they came running when they saw us, yeah. they knew. Gatlinburg pay to park. It's uh it's very easy. Nobody told us. There's, there's signs, there's signs everywhere. There's it's you just have to pay attention to the signage. I'm not mad at you, I get it. So you get this catch. Give me it to get our car back. There you go. Thank you. Our whole trip.
I can't hear what they're saying. They're still going. Do you want to hang this out the window and catch it? He's going to hit you. Well. He's, he's trying to run into me. Uh. So the white car, there was a white Buick Enclave that was parked there that was local. And they knew better. They saw us. They came ran, came running. And then that Jeep was there. And you were backing up to the Jeep and the Buick Enclave people went past and laid on the horn and flipped you off. They flipped me off, yeah, they're... And, 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 and like you were saying, there's no excuse. The, she's local, she knows better. She knows that, that, and they're right there. The parking garage is, is no more than 10 feet away. They came from the parking garage. They walked through the parking garage, yes, yes to get back over. So they're just... I, Lazy and cheap. But these guys, they need a place to park, guys. So uh, all of those restaurants use that parking lot there for their employees to be able to come to work. And it says employee parking only. So when these when these people park there, they cannot get to work. They cannot get to work. Um, and it is not fair for them to come and pay pay to park. They're working here in Gatlinburg. And, and the employees, the employers have that parking lot for their employees so you know it's and then they come and then get mad at me and flip me off because they knew better and then that one that parking lot is is another unique one there we get the same thing every time they always say well there's no signs i didn't know that parking lot is no different than any other there there are signs 360 degrees around that parking lot and they'll want to say well, there's no sign here. There's no sign in the middle of the. What are you? Are you going to levitate a sign in the middle of the park? If there are signs 360, th th it means no parking. And there's there's signs when you enter, and then there's a paid parking lot 10 feet away. So, no excuse, no excuse. I, you know, whatever. I understand. You're going to take it out on me. It, whatever. That's that's fine. Um, but uh, we're just here. We're just here doing our job, guys. So. Uh, Screen. Stay tuned. I'm going to see if I can get out of Gatlinburg on this crazy day and uh, see what else happens. Okay, guys. Uh, I think these people are going to try to cross. Uh, there's no crosswalk there's, here, and know, they're going to get run over. They're going to try to cross. So, and that's another thing, guys. If you're in Gatlinburg, just go to a crosswalk so you're you don't get ran over. Especially when you've got a bunch of kids. Oh, they've got at least three little kids. And, and, and traffic just flies through here once the light changes. And that's all you got to do is just go to a crosswalk, guys, so everybody's safe and you're not, uh, no one's getting ran over. That's that's my other Gatlinburg thing, man. I don't, I don't know how people survive over here and not. They do. We just don't hear about it a whole lot. Not getting ran over constantly because, yeah, it's, and blocking the intersections and. And, and it goes both ways for uh, the pedestrians and or the people that run the lights. We were just coming into town here and three cars were in a stoplight. So we sat through an, another entire cycle of lights. Um, because there were three cars. They're blocking the entire. So that's just another small thing that we have to to get over when, when people ask, you know, why? Why are the costs so high to do this or to run tow trucks? That's that's part of it you know it's the traffic's crazy over here but i wanted to go back to the um the people that that we were just at there with the uh at the with the jeep with the jeep and the buick oh, enclave um back there in that parking lot that's right beside the parking garage so both of those when, once we pulled in off of the parkway and we pulled pulled back to to the back to hook up the enclave first of all they seen us they come running as fast as they could run so from the parking garage yeah so why so you're going to come and you're going to give me the story of i didn't know but yet you come running across the parking lot when you've seen the tow truck there so you it's kind of, you're giving yourself away guys come on um if you're not gonna i knew i wouldn't put up the extra effort to run if i knew my car was safe and i wasn't doing something wrong why would you run when you seen the tow truck. So you knew, you knew what was going on. 
Uh, so, so to give me that story about you didn't see the signs and you didn't know, but yet you're on a you're in a full on sprint across, and it was the same way with the Jeep. Uh, after the Enclave moved, the Jeep guys come running down the alley. Um, and poor guy, you know, I, I do, I feel for him. He's short on cash, I guess, I don't know. But, you know, at the same time, you're on vacation, so it's just part of uh, part of the deal. But anyway, guys, I thought I'd rant about that a little bit more. Uh, those people want to give you, give us those, uh, those stories about they didn't know and you knew. You knew what you pay to park. <laughs> oh, you, you just got to pay to park. Uh, I I could hear the the frustration in your voice when you were talking to him. You were like, "You're in Gatlinburg, just pay to park." It just just the tone of your voice. You were like, <sighs> "Like I said, that that parking lot gets me a little more than any of the others because you are ten feet away from a parking garage, uh, and, and and there's signage all the way around. So, man, don't. I mean, those there's no excuses. There's no excuses there other than you are a cheapskate. And um, you're trying to uh, parking lot cheat. So don't parking lot cheat. Uh, pay to park. If you're in Gatlinburg, pay to park. But anyway, guys, that's enough of my rant. Uh, it is raining. It is a nasty Saturday. There's going to be probably some accidents and uh, things like that. So just drive safe, guys. Slow down. Take a breather. Uh, we've Obey got the uh, traffic signals. Traffic signals, traffic laws. We've got a lot of folks that have hydroplaned, and we've had a few of those calls last night, and things like that. So, just uh, be careful. Our our corners and our curves are a little sharper than most of the states surrounding. So, just uh, slow down, be safe. If you're not safe, call us. We'll come help. You. How are you? Hi, how are you? Hey, I'm doing good. Good. Um, my husband is going to talk to you about where to park it because we have other neighbors there that he, they can't get through. Okay. Where were you? Where were you? Hello? Hello, yes, this is Jeff. Hi. Can you park it next to the white van? Next to the, I can't physically get it down this address. That it's it's way too overgrown. My truck is way too big to get down into the address. Plus, I have to back it the entire way down. There's nowhere to turn around. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. So it's gonna go right. Here. I mean, I'd be happy to take it up farther on the road, and they can try to, I, I don't know, coast it down here or. But there's just no, there's nowhere for me to turn around and the road is not wide enough for me to make the turn to get into the address. Okay, so I mean, I, I've got, I've got limbs buried and scratches all down the side of my tow truck already where I'm sitting in the driveway. I see it too, Dad. I'm sitting in front of the I'm sitting in front of the little shop here, um, the little uh, uh, the little uh, garage at the the shed at the end of the trailer. Oh, I don't want you in the backyard. Right, right there in front of the shed. There's two sheds, right? One of them, yeah. You went there. Yeah, that's where we're at right now. Okay, that's fine. Okay, all right, thank you, sir. Yeah, I, like I said, I'm just, I'm scratched. I've got tons of scratches down the side of my truck right now where I'm sitting, so I can't, 
I mean, I, I'm close to the shed, but I'm not all the way up against it. That's fine. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, guys, I'm here. I mean, I've got I've got an entire tree that's just buried up against my truck right here, right now. If you guys can see that. Uh, this is why we like to drop off at, at commercial addresses. You know, coming back to residential, I, they, they want me to come back and I'm, I mean, I'm buried. I, I've got I've got tree limbs that have just scratched the whole side of my truck, trying to get back to. They want to overpass that thing. And, and there's just no way. There's no way I can make that turn. So. We don't have keys either, so we can't coast it. overgrown. Like I said, here's the view of my truck. I'm trying to get in here. That's as close as I can get it. You might want to think about it if somebody insults someone who's trying to do something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've got a very loud truck. Yeah, you can't hear you. You can't leave down there. There's two other houses down there that this driveway goes. You're going to have to go 
get it back up there somehow. No, there's just no way. I've, I've already scratched the entire side of our truck trying to well, get down in there. But you can't leave it there. Okay, is there, a, is there another place that's... I, I mean, I could take it up here. Is there anywhere else you can leave the truck in the car? Okay, you're on speaker. This is where he told me to leave it. I understand, but this is 2803, that's 2803-1. It, it needs to go down there. Okay. There's two other houses right below there that's going to have to come out of here. Okay. You know, and so we can't leave it in, it's like a thoroughfare. You can't leave it there. Gotcha. That, like if I said. If you want, can you get it next to this red car? I, I cannot turn this corner right here with it, no. Oh, you can't. I cannot turn that corner. The best I could do would be to leave it out on the main road up here. He said the best he can do, he can't even get it in my driveway, is to go leave it up by the mailboxes. He can't get his truck down there. And he can't get his truck turned into my driveway. So he wants to leave it up there at the mailboxes. <laughs> Like I said, usually usually commercial addresses are the best. This is what we get into when we get to residential addresses. Especially in the country. <laughs> yeah, it's it's uh yeah, it's, it's it's the same thing with anybody. UPS, FedEx. If there's not a place to turn around, it's it, we fight it, you know. Yeah. And and we've got a hundred thousand dollar tow truck that I just scraped the entire the entire side of it on those trees over there. If it was trimmed back, if it was trimmed back, well maybe we could have. But it's so overgrown down here. There's nowhere there's nowhere for me to turn around, and there's nowhere for me to make that turn. And I had to back from the main road. I couldn't oh, even. I know. I saw you backing in. That's why I called him and told him to go lead you in. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, yeah. We've already backed up a half mile just to get it back over here. So. Where do you want it? Leave it by the mailboxes and that patch of grass that's there. Okay. After the last house, in the grass. Where you turn around? Yes. Yeah, where the turnaround is, but in the grass part, please. Okay. Whose whose property is that? I have no idea. Well, I can't. I can't do that. I can't just leave it on somebody else's property. You can't leave it there either. I mean, are they going to call the police and say there's a? At that point, it's up to you. I mean, I'll leave it there. But if if they, if that property owner calls and say they want it removed, then they're going to tow his car away. They live in Florida. I don't even think they're here. Well, that's a chance he'd have to take if he wants to give me the okay to do that. You have to take if you want to leave it there. That's fine. Leave it up there. Okay. All right, he'll do. I still say we leave. Because he came out there yelling, hey, I'm talking to you. No, you were not. You were screaming at us. I mean, we can. We can leave if you wish. Uh, at this point, I'm leaving it on somebody else's property. Who owns that property? They don't know. They said somebody from Florida, maybe. But they don't know. We can't leave it on somebody else's property. I mean, I, I don't know.
It's like my tire is sliding down this hill. What's that? I take that key up your hands for the Volvo. Oh, I don't have it. You don't have the keys? He didn't give me the keys, no. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a messed up situation all the way around, man. I, you know, I guess if he'd have had the keys or if he'd have given me the keys and it would have been a different address, but I sure appreciate all your help. No problem. Appreciate it, man. You too. He apologized for me. Sorry, I was being a to you guys. To you guys. And I said, well, I said, it's always nice to try to be polite for people who are trying to do something for you. Yeah, I know, he said. Then he held those bushes back, so I told him thank you for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh a little too much, a little too late. But anyway, guys, they wanted me to leave this thing up here in somebody else's property. Um, I got back down. You guys can see how overgrown that it is. And, and they wanted us to bring a rollback on top of, of this. I mean, I already had to get off of what is the roadway. You can see just to try and get it back down in there. And I like to think I'm a pretty good backer, but uh, that's just, uh, you, you can't, you can't ask, you can't ask somebody to deliver something like that. Nobody's going to deliver where there's no place to turn around um you know it should be it should be at least able to turn around I've, I've backed up all the way from the main road so and then we got asked if this was our first day twice twice asked you and then asked me uh, that's just no way to yeah like you said no way to treat somebody that's trying to help you and that's all i was trying to do and, and not I mean, you can't ask somebody to, to to pull their truck down in there and just completely scratch the whole side of a truck just to just to complete where you want a car. Um, you know, it's I've been saying this for a while. I think it's probably this this done it in for me. It's it's going to have to be a uh, a commercial address, or they're going to have to. Uh, give us a, a better location to drop these things i when i pulled up i it immediately right here at this corner we should have just said no before we even tried it right but i continued down and i and i tried it and and it's all you know just try to, to try to help the customer and then then the customer goes and and trash talks you and after you're you're really trying so that that's hard it's really hard and then they wanted to yell at us the entire time we were trying to unload it so guys there's not only drama in illegal parks there's there's drama in towing too and this has happened to us we don't we don't video a lot of our toes um but this has happened this has happened to us a lot as far as uh dropping things off people get upset when when you can't put it in in a little square in their in their yard um you know they, they need better better ways to uh, maneuver things after they get it there but realize that their property is just not equipped for a repair
repair facility. Um, this was a neighbor helping out this guy. The fuel pump went out. Uh, we towed it from Gatlinburg over, and uh, you know, that's that's awesome that your neighbor's going to help you put a fuel pump in it and help you out. But at the same time, you you have to understand that we just can't get tow trucks into some of these places. But enough of a rant, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I don't know if they're any happier or any less displeased with the situation the one guy ended up going inside after he was hot and heavy with the cussing uh, but uh, we were able to get out of there before it got too crazy thank goodness but stay tuned guys i'm sure we got more drama coming your way we appreciate you watching okay youtube i wanted to do another quick little uh rant on the uh the delivering to some of these addresses um i i, I not only uh would like to deliver to an address where we can get in and out of safely um it's it's it is because of the truck you know if we got limbs we're going to scratch up the truck really bad or we're going to get hung up or uh run up a driveway or sling nasty stuff everywhere but it's not only that it's for the customer safety as well so i wanted to make sure i stressed on that as well so you know it's, it's not only you know scratching up our truck it's it's getting in and out safely with the customer's vehicle and that's probably something they don't they don't keep in mind so when this thing comes down it likes to be on a level surface you know we're, we need to be in a parking lot on a solid surface because this thing has to slide in and out of your car so when you when you've got me on the side of this mountain road that probably your car should be winched off of and you want it dropped off it's it's un, uneven unlevel when this thing comes out it can catch your bumper it can catch your corner panel um, you know, it can catch the, the rocker panels, that sort of thing. Um, so when, when we want that level surface, it's, it's because of that too. So you can't just say, you know, I want it up there by the, the shed that's on a, and, and it's all, you know, it has to be level. I'll show you guys real quick. Let me, let me hit the button. Then. So it does a very good job on a level surface. This thing comes down and down to the ground. Well, what happens when when this side of the boom hits an unlevel surface and that side is up in the air? Well, it won't go down anymore because it's already hitting over here, and that side's going to be up in the air. So when we go to retract, we're going to we're going to get bumper cover. So that's the importance of that too. We don't we don't want to. Uh, we don't want to damage anybody's car. Now it'll do a, it'll do a very good job. Jared Dan do a very good job of up and down. Um, so if I'm on a, on a driveway and I'm backing into it, I can I can tilt it. I can tilt it down. So I can get you. You know, if your driveway is downhill, you know I can come in and let me get it from this way. I can come in that way and go and go downhill and not worry about your your bumper. But when it's uneven left to right you know like some of these crazier mountain driveways like they wanted us to drop that off of you know we're just we don't want to tear up your car i thought i'd let you guys see that get that loud pto pump off but that's that's the reasoning behind that as well. We don't want uh, we don't want to damage anything. And, and, uh, it's easier in a parking lot or uh, a bigger driveway. It doesn't have to be a, a paved lot. It just has to be not an old mountain goat trail. It has to be has to be something fairly level. So that was the reasoning on that. I wanted to touch base on that a little bit more on customer car safety as well. So, but Jared Ann does a very good job. Most of the auto loaders do a very good job of. Of coming in and out of cars you know I, I just need I just need that space right there which is which is like three and a half inches or so um, they do a very good job of that sliding under your car but when it's not level that turns into a couple of feet and well, it's not because the customer's car their tire can be here and here but that like on the ground but that is going to be level like yeah no matter what this is going to be well if my truck's sitting at an angle then it'll be kind of at an angle as well but where my truck's at might not be where the car is at too so you know some of these some of these driveways they really uh they really test the capabilities of this and uh and only you know same thing with the rollback that they they wanted us to initially bring a rollback 
and I couldn't imagine trying to make that turn and swoop into that drive. There's just no way. If I couldn't do it in a single a single cab pickup, there's no way I could have swung the rollback up where they actually wanted that. And if we had, that puts their car up on my bed, which those trees would have just demolished the car that was on my bed, let alone the truck. So that's what we run into a lot, guys. I know you guys see a lot of the, uh, the winch outs and these crazy back roads. It comes into the same thing on the towing end of it. We, you know, some of the customers want us to bring these cars back to some of these addresses. So um, just something to keep in mind, guys. We're gonna keep rolling. We appreciate you watching. We're gonna get out of here and off to the next tow.